In today's video, I thought we can take a look at how I have been using the chain of thought approach to create images with Dolly 3. As you can see from the results here, I think they are pretty interesting and I'm excited to show you how I have been doing this. The first thing we're going to look at is our custom instructions. So you can see what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses. So I just fill in some generic stuff here. And the most important thing is an example of a great prompt. So here I kind of fill in uh, an a, a prompt I really liked. Uh, I just made it a bit more generic by not telling it what kind of style it is. Uh, but I will upload this to my website if you want to copy this. And here we have the system prompt, right? Uh, I think we're going to look at it over here. So you are a professional graphical YouTube thumbnail designer. Your task is to take the user's ID, take a deep breath, create four detailed prompts for the most intriguing YouTube thumbnails. And then I have like a, a list of steps here I want to follow. So it's going to pick a fitting style. It's going to pick some elements, objects, plus the short text or texts. The short text or text is in a bold matching font and max four words. Use popping colors to make the thumbnails really stand out and pop off the screen. And I want a 16 format because that's the format we use on YouTube. And then I have a list of assignments here. So the first thing it's going to do is to create a long detailed list of individual ideas we must complete before we start working on the prompts. So this is kind of the chain of thought thinking, right? So we're going to list those ideas. We're going to complete all those ideas in a step by step way. When all these ideas are generated, then we can craft the perfect long, very detailed prompt for the four thumbnails. Always start with the style first, then the text, then the objects. That's the best, best way I found. Us, we also want an explanation for why this will create a high click-through rate. And then we're going to evaluate the prompts with a very critical eye and suggest improvements to increase the details. And we're going to ensure that the order is correct. So we want style, text, objects. Then we're going to craft a new long detailed prompt uh, by following the suggested improvements. And then we're going to create these thumbnails. So a kind of big uh, system prompt here, but for me, it's been working quite good. So now let's see it in action. Okay, so we're just going to go here, select Dolly 3, right? Paste in our prompt. My idea is a 90s retro hacker style. The big text you've been hacked in a bold matching font. A vintage computer that is running green code causing intrigue and makes the viewer want to click the thumbnail. Make the thumbnails really stand out in a 169 format. Okay, so now we're just going to click this and see what happens. Okay, so that was it. Now let's take a look at how this turned out. So you can see we start with the list of individual ideas, right? We have the style, text, element objects, colors and the format. Then we have a step-by-step -step execution. So begin with the 90s retro hacker team to set the overall aesthetics of the thumbnail. We have incorporated text, add the vintage computer, ensure the colored palette pops out, especially against the YouTube's white background. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to start crafting some prompts. So the first one is 90s retro hacker vibe. Okay. Elements. We have that. But here you can see we get a different style. Dark and gritty 90s hacker a ambience and we have a different style here neon lit so this is what i think is so great about this we get different kind of styles that are really hard to i can't think of this 90s arcade game hacker essence i would never come up with that so that's been a very good thing with this you get a diverse style here uh, why these prompts will cre uh, create high ctr so it taps into nostalgic of the viewers uh, who are familiar with that era and I just thought this could be cool for the improvement style. So the moody blue background could be made darker to allow the neon green text to stand out even more. Okay, that's cool. Introduce some glitch effects to the binary digit. So this is kind of the improvement stage. Then we have the revisited prompts after the improvements. And these are kind of our final prompts, right? And then we're gonna create those. So here you can see the results. I thought this turned out pretty good. I really like this one. That was cool, right? Uh, this was very clear and clean, I think. So pretty cool. And yeah, this one too. Kind of cool. I have one more trick I want to share with you. So what you can do now is go great. Make the thumbnails pop more off the screen. So I have been having some great success with this. So let's see how it works out in this case. Okay, so let's take a look here. Yeah, I think this worked out cool. 
Uh, I gotta say this one looked great. I didn't like this one so much. Uh, this one got improved, I think, but we have a spelling error. That's uh, But this one, that was quite cool, right? So let's compare. Uh, let's take a look at this one. I like this. This is kind of clean. Uh, but I think this pops out more, right? You've been hacked, so... Uh, yeah, just a tip there, so make the thumbnails pop more off the screen. So this is kind of the way I've been doing this, and I had some very good results with it. I've been really impressed by how diverse the results are. So I thought we can just create a bit of a few more different thumbnails, just take a look at the results. And we're gonna end it with trying to create a Christmas card. Then we're gonna alter the prompt a bit and see how that turned out. Now let's try to not give it a style, we're gonna have the text make money online and an element object based on the text. So we don't really give it anything. The only thing we give it is the make money online thing. We're gonna come up with an, a style of its own and an element or an object of its own. So let's just run that and check out the results. Okay, so here are the results. Uh, I didn't like that one. Uh, this one looks great. I really enjoy that. Uh, this one is fine. And uh, yeah, that was a bit strange, but maybe. I like the arrow part here. Uh, I'll try to make it pop more, but uh, uh, I guess this one was fine, but we got a spelling error. This one, nah, that didn't work so good. Uh, no. So these were not perfect, I would say. Let's try something different. So let's do a random style. The text is gonna be I survived, and it's gonna be based on surviving in the wilderness. Yeah, this looks great, right? Okay, so this is very cool. I like the compass here, you can see the map. Got this mysterious vibe, right? We have this one. Ah, it's okay. It got some spelling errors, so that we kind of missed out. Uh, mm, I didn't like this one, but I thought this one was cool. Uh, kind of like the tent here, the moon. It's a bit strange, but uh, definitely this one was my favorite. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, let's do one more. So let's do the text Tokyo, and we're gonna do an object based on an anime waifu girl that causes intrigue. So let's run this and see what this gives us. Okay, this was interesting. So let's take a look at this one first. Uh, yeah, pretty much exactly what we asked for. This is a cyberpunk cityscape. Uh, we have this one. Mm, I didn't like this one too much, but it, it, it kind of looks cool. Uh, I really like this one. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. But then I went, uh, make this pop more off the screen, right? And I think we improved them. I guess this was a bit better. Uh, I like this one more, but it was a bit strange with the text, but this one looked really cool. Tokyo 80s, I like the, like the look. I think it's very, the colors really pop off the screen, right? So I think this one was the best one. And uh, this is kind of like this anime popular theme, isn't it? I think so. So very cool. Uh, but now I think we're gonna do something personal. So this is something I've been looking into. So uh, let's try to create a personal happy birthday card to someone. I'm gonna alter the system prompt a bit, and then let's try it. Okay, so I haven't tried this before, so it's just gonna be a style. The text is gonna be Happy Birthday, Julie. Uh, an element based on the 90s yearbook trend, I just saw that. That matches the theme, and I put text in like parentheses here. Make the image stand out in a 69 format. But we changed up the system prompt here, so instead of going like a YouTube thumbnail designer, we just went with professional graphic designer, and we just changed out YouTube thumbnails with images. So that is basically the only change we made. Uh, so yeah, let's see what this gives us. Yeah, this looks good, right? So let's take a look here. So we have this, this really represents kind of 90s style. I like these Polaroid images around here. I thought that was pretty cool. You can see the text is a bit weird, right? Uh, but other than that, yeah. This one was, uh, I like it, but it's, the spelling is all wrong. Uh, I think this was my favorite. The details here are great, right? Cool. Also this one, pretty good. Very 90s. The stickers and stuff. So I think these personal items looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna do one more, just uh, a final. Let's do some Christmas card or something. So let's do again a 90s retro hacker style. The text is gonna be Merry Christmas. And the object is gonna be matches the theme. Uh, so let's see if we can get a Christmas card in this hacker style. Okay, so here you can see this is the first one. I, I like it. I thought it was cool. 
Uh, I like this one. I think this was my favorite. So we have this arcade style. I really like this 90s Super Nintendo, Nintendo style uh, bit. And I really like the text here, Merry Xmas. Uh, this was also very cool, <laughs> but uh, we have Xmas, but I thought that fit well. And we have the December 25th barcode here. So again, I I'm just so impressed by this. I think it's very awesome, and I think, uh, yeah, I could just start creating my own personalized stuff. So I can just, if I have a printer, I can just print this and create a card from it, right? So pretty cool. And... Uh, I hope you kind of enjoyed this uh, chain of thought approach to creating images with Dolly Tree. Uh, I think this produces some very good ideas because it's really hard sometimes to come up with this, let's say, 90s tech magazine cover look, 90s video a game. It's really hard to brainstorm all these ideas for yourself, right? Hackers vibe with a darker, moodier atmosphere. So GPT-4 is really good at coming up with these ideas if we just have this uh, chain of thought approach structure to it. So all you have to do is just change up a bit here and you get a whole new image and we can follow up with like make this pop more off the screen and some iterative adjustments, right? Uh, but anyway, I hope you found this inspiring. Go create some cool stuff with Dolly Tree. The prompts I've used in this video, you can find them in the description below. Just click on my link to my website there and you can copy the prompts I've been using. Uh, but anyway, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.